What's going on YouTube? What's happening? It's Beretta 19 back with y'all with another video. If you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe, hit your notification bell, drop as many comments as you can uh, down below, like, share video. Woo. I hope everybody's had a blessed day. Hope everybody had a great day. Shouts out uh, to the family, to the friends, as well as the uh, nice young lady I met over the phone. Uh, Forgive me if I saying your name wrong, because I know you're probably watching this, Joyce, and everything. Forgive me if I said your name wrong. I'm terrible with names, but I'm very good with remember faces. <clears throat> I just wanted to make this video, you guys. I've got another one I make after this. But like I said, if, if you once again, if you're new to my channel, please check out the whole channel. Don't be, you know, if it's a video you don't like or whatever the case may be. It's I talk about a variety of subjects. I got to keep saying this because for whatever reason. I'm steady getting more and more uh, subscribers. Now, by the grace of God, I thank Him for that and everything. If you're having a bad day, I hope and pray that God bless you and will get you through your bad day or your bad time in life. All right, here we go. The topic of conversation today, you guys, is the gears we use to navigate through life. The gears we use to navigate through life. <clears throat> you guys. First and foremost, when you're 16, 17 years old, you go get your temps, okay? You're supposed to be, brother. And if they, you go get your temps. And you know, you study your book, your signs and laws and rules and everything to go get your temps, take a computer test and et cetera, et cetera. But understand something, you guys. Once you uh, understand the rules, once you master and everything, they take you out on a road test. Because they got to see and everything if you can bag, you know, you can operate the vehicle in a safely manner. I know this and everything because obviously I got my driver license and I had to do the exact same thing when I got my CDL. So I know this. Excuse me. Uh, another thing you guys, they have you do, if you pass the uh, road test, which in most cases is pretty easy, but some fail, most don't, but it depends. Everybody's different. Uh, once they give you the road test, they take you on a maneuverability test. You got to cut through your way through the cones and do all this stuff and everything. And the, uh, the guy, the, um, the scorekeeper, or the, uh, uh, it's another term that they use for and everything. The driver examiner guy, I'm going to just say that and everything. He's grading everything that you're doing. You no know, marking and everything just the same way they do when you do the CDL test. But there's a distinct difference, though. First and foremost, and everything, taking the uh, getting your driver license and everything, you're in a much smaller vehicle. This other vehicle that you take your test in is a much larger vehicle. Which remember, the bigger the vehicle, the bigger the responsibility. Now, here we go, you guys. I gave you all that footwork and everything, or should I say, I laid it out there for you so I can build what I'm trying to get to. And I can say, if you pass your maneuverability, you pass your road test, you know get your license same thing with driving the truck here's the thing you guys in life when we're born we're born in park we're born in park which is the P that's on your gear shift and everything in your vehicle and everything or if you are in the truck it's in neutral and you set your brakes which is your air brakes it's a red knob and it's a yellow knob okay now Here's the thing, when you're born in part, and everything, like I said, you're a baby, you're not going anywhere right now. Because right now, you gotta take time to develop, you gotta take time to learn with your environment, you gotta take time to learn the world, because you, you just, you're a newborn, you just got in this world. Now, the next one is up and everything, it's called reverse, okay? Reverse simply means, obviously, you're going backwards, okay? Now, here's what you guys got to catch. As you get older in life, the weird thing about it is, you're actually, your body is actually going, your body's going forward and everything, but in chron chronological terms, you're actually going backwards because the longer you live, the older you become. That's why you see a lot of elderly people and everything, 80s, 90s, or even if they, you know, blessed living in the 100s, everything they can't move as fast 
or they can't operate as quick or they can't run as much or they don't have the wind as much as they do because their body the older you get and everything the more wear and tear on your body and it does <clears throat> depend on how you took care of yourself now the next gear shift and everything is called neutral neutral don't mean you're in park and neutral don't mean you're in drive neutral simply mean is you're you're standing still or no excuse me you're in motion or could be in motion but you haven't figured out which way you want to go yet you haven't figured out if you want to go in reverse or if you want to go in drive let me help you out here because a lot of people in life are in neutral your examiner in life now I ain't talking about in driving your examiner is God and remember he created you you were born in park okay he had to let you you know get through your world and everything and then he had to bring you back and everything in order to first save your soul because you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior he had to reverse you before you can go forward remember before you can go forward and everything see before you can go forward you got to go backwards and everything now now you've done that and everything, you find yourself in life in neutral. And Jesus is sitting in the passenger seat and everything looking at you like, okay, what's your next move? And you may not know, may not understand it, may not can figure it out. But here's where it goes good at. Jesus then uh, suggests to you and everything, why not listen to me? See, the thing about Jesus and everything, he's not going to tell you to go a direction and everything. But you can't move because you're neutral. Remember, neutral is not park, and neutral is not uh, in drive. It's kind of like you're you're standing still, but you still can move forward or you can move back. We have the option. See, park you don't have the option. Park means you standing still. Neutral means you have the option to go forward or backwards. But Jesus, now he sees and everything that you have learned and you have taught. Yeah, excuse me, you have uh, figured out. And everything by his teaching and by him helping you and everything you put it in drive but be careful when you in drive because if you don't go the direction and everything that God has set for you and everything you're gonna end up crashing this is why God don't send you something or don't give you something till you are ready to receive him okay now you're in drive driving down the road everything seems to be going fine here's the problem now here come adversity you get some old ignorant person and everything cut in front of you. And if you're a new driver, you may not, you may panic and slam on the brakes. Let me tell you something about brakes on a vehicle and brakes in your life. Always understand something. Jesus is your brakes. Because Jesus don't want you to crash. He don't want you to hit another vehicle. But you got to be careful. Because Satan may try to cut your brake line. And the brake line runs to the brake, which is the brake pedal. And everything but here's the thing that brake line is your faith and remember if Jesus is the brake Satan's job he's gonna do everything he can to try to mess them all uh, brake pads up mess to cut your brake line because he don't want you to get to Jesus that's why and everything you got to do a pre-trip before you leave with a vehicle whether that's truck or car because you got to know you know how your car acting this day people don't take time figure out it's such lessons you learn just by the simple things that you have with that you have in your life now you've done that and everything when you go to squeeze on that brake and everything and say your car stopped and everything means your brakes are good your faith is good but sometimes in life and everything because who knows what somebody's been through you squeeze on those brakes and everything and they may cry they may make noise and they may not want to stop that's because we have lost faith in everything. That's why you gotta take it to the spiritual workshop. And that's, of course, that's Jesus, that's the church, or the, and everything. So, get your brakes done. Now you're back in action. Get your faith back up, now you're back in action. You come against, you come up upon everything, road hazards, okay, road hazards. That can be ice or rain. Lord knows I've dealt with many of them. As a trucker, they tell you, break if you got a stick shift, you got to break it down to they call grandma gear, maybe first or second gear. 
depending on if you got a load or if you're empty, bobtail, whatever, and everything. It depends, but you want to break it down and everything in first or second gear. Because what that is doing and everything, if you're going down the hill, that is. But if you want like loading, you want to break it down to maybe sixth or fifth gear. I said probably fifth and everything, especially if you're traveling on ice or you know slippery roads and everything. Now in the car and everything, they only have drive one and drive two on most cars. So what you have to do, and everything, hold the brake pedal. You wanna know what's something funny about a car? I just I just now realized this. Remember I told you Jesus your brake pedal because he don't want you. He does not want you to crash. But ain't it funny? We gotta push on the brake before we can select the gear. Ain't that funny? So, in other words, if Jesus is the brake pedal, it's like we gotta go to him first before we can switch gears. And sometimes when we push on the brake, we go to a gear that we weren't supposed to and we end up messing up our car. And the car means your life or a, a situation or a job or a marriage or something you in and everything. Follow me here now. So you go to drive one and everything, you will notice the car does this and everything. So it breaks down, everything. And when I say break down, meaning it starts getting slower. Okay, then you break it again at the drive two. We're talking about a, a four wheeler car. And everything you know it's cars very slow no matter how much gas you try to put on everything it ain't gonna go but so fast people always drive slow in slippery conditions okay because if you try to drive like a damn maniac like i see people drive out here and everything you're gonna crash truck or car so what i want you guys to do and everything i want you guys to do when you break it down the gear now put your hazard lights on in other words, let everyone around you know and everything that I'm trying to be safe. I'm trying to do what's right and I'm trying to do what's required of me because I don't want to hurt nobody out here in the road, especially myself or whoever's in the car with me. Now, you didn't done that. Once you get out of the predicament, you gotta hit that brake again. That's, that's why I tell you. And remember, the brake pedal is Jesus. Push it back into neutral, neutral. Put you back into drive, depending on road conditions. Now you can drive up. Now, let me show you another thing. When you get on the freeway, and that's actually one of the first places I learned how to drive, both car and truck, by the way. When you get on the freeway, you travel at a high rate of speed. Now, you guys know there are speed limits up there, 65, 70, in some states it's 80. However, if you ever notice what's unique about a speed sign, you know, a speed limit sign, that speed limit sign, the people who put it there, it has a purpose in behind it. And a lot of people ignore them. When you're in a school zone, most school zones are 15, 20 miles an hour. That is because they don't want you flying through there like a bat out of hell and mess around with a child darks out in front of you and everything. They want you to be able to have enough time to stop. Because you're traveling at, like I said, 15, 20 miles an hour and everything. you got enough time to react versus traveling at 35 or 45 miles an hour. Trust me, I've seen people speed through the school zones with the light flashing. Now, I wasn't one of them. Now, I wasn't one of them, trust me. In truck or car, I wasn't one of them. But please be cautious of that because you have children there. That's why I tell you guys, make sure you select the right gear. Make sure you select the right gear and everything. Make sure you select the gear that's the proper gear for your situation. And I ain't just talking about a car, I'm talking about in life. You gotta understand something and everything. That gear shift that's in your car, that's in your truck, it's really, it, it's a, it symbolizes what our life is. A car really symbolizes what our life is. And I'm not talking about nothing material, but I'm talking about and everything. A car and everything, when you, when you don't have enough gas in it and everything, it eventually is gonna come to a stop because it's on empty. That same thing with our lives and everything. When we lose faith and everything, what ends up happening, everything, our our spiritual life and everything is on empty. That's why we gotta get refilled so we can get back up and go ahead. But if we don't refill it, we ain't gonna go nowhere. Now, if you have it, excuse me, if you have it and everything, with the 
sometimes a car may need an oil change. Anybody with a brain know you can't operate a car without no oil. Check your oil. Make sure your oil ain't messed up. Make sure it ain't all plugged and you know all messed up and screwed up and everything. Get an oil change. Make sure your oil is good. And some else, make sure your tires are good. Sometimes our mind is right, but our heart ain't right. And our heart is our tires. And sometimes in life and everything, we run through there and we get flats. In other words, somebody broke our heart and messed us up and everything to a point we don't want to go on. But this is why in everything God tells you, call my number. I'm the ultimate repairman and I got a tire for you. And I will come to you and I will put a fresh tire on me. I will rebuild your faith and I will rebuild your heart. That's why I tell you family and friends, don't give up on Jesus and don't give up on God. Don't get caught up in this nonsense with this world and everything, thinking that everything's, you know, it is what it is, you know, it's more to life than this and everything. That's how you want to think, that's how you want to think. Though, like I said, don't be a follower, be a leader. But I'm telling you and everything, the gears and everything, the gear shifts in our life and everything are, it's for our good. And you guys, as you drive a car and everything, as you drive and you own the car, you bought the car, or you own and bought a truck and everything, you notice over time it starts to wear down. Over time it starts to break down and everything. That's the exact same way our bodies is because we are putting the wrong stuff in our bodies. Whether it's the wrong food, not enough exercising, uh, drinking or smoking stuff, or doing God knows what to our bodies. Our bodies are like a car. And some of us got jacked up engines. We pretty we got a pretty frame, but we got jacked up engines. And we wonder why the car and everything or constantly got to keep going back to repair shop. I mean, you got to constantly go back to Jesus and get, get cleansed and get right. But remember, I don't care how nice a car is and everything. If that engine ain't right and everything, the whole car is trash. It ain't going to work. So please understand that, you guys. And be conscientious of that, what you're doing. Every gear shift uh, panel that you that you see uh, everything uh, each section each one everything each letter and you see each number has a purpose just like everything in our lives do so apply that same principle and everything to your life okay make sure you select the right gear when you're going down that hill and you got a heavy load on you you got some heavy on your heart you just lost some your mother or your dad or you ain't close or somebody said something to you that broke your heart or done something to you that broke your heart and everything Make sure when you're going down that hill in life that you're in the right gear. Because if you're not in the right gear and everything, you're going to end up crashing. Or in a truck case, you're going to end up smoking your brakes. Meaning, and everything in life, in life's tense and everything, you're going to end up getting frustrated and depressed and to a point you catch on fire. And once the real brakes, anybody notice that? Everybody know who drives a truck know what I'm talking about. When them, if them brakes start smoking or they catch on fire and you can't stop that truck or get it to an off ramp or escape ramp, what's going to end up happening, you are a speeding bullet going down the road and you have no way of stopping. And the only way you're going to stop, you're going to crash. That's why it's important everything to select the right gear. So I'm letting you guys know that and everything. Please be conscientious of that. This is Beretta 19. I hope you guys some out of this today. I hope you guys are blessed today and everything. Get your behind in the right gear. Remember, you were born in park, but you ain't got to stay in park. You were born to drive and everything. Remember, before you can go forward, you got to first get all you need that's behind you in order to push forward. But don't spend your life in neutral. And don't, and don't, don't start driving and then find yourself back reversing. So please understand everything. Anybody that's trying to hold you back and everything, you slam down on that gas pedal and get away from them. That's what I'm talking about in life now. Somebody talking about you and everything, get in drive. Don't go in reverse. They said uh, only a fool would turn back to his vomit and everything. Don't do that. If somebody done you wrong, they broke your heart and everything, leave them in the past. Stop trying to bring your past to your present because it's not going to work right. It's Beretta 19, y'all. Be blessed. Be safe. Find the right gear before it's too late. Take care.